Hello everyone, I'm Fraser from Motor Match Chester and we're doing a special video tour today as we take a look over our 2013 Peugeot RCZ which has just arrived here on site. This unique and sleek coupe boasts a 1.6 litre petrol engine with a manual transmission and has done slightly over 30,000 miles, which is an exceptionally low mileage considering the age of the car. It also only has two previous owners and has been extremely well serviced with a full service history, so you can definitely say it's in good condition. Of course, when looking around the vehicle, I couldn't find a single mark on it, and the 18-inch alloy wheels were spotless as well. If you never had the chance to drive an RCZ before, they're especially efficient and powerful little coupes, fantastic handling, and just great fun to drive all around. Taking a look inside the vehicle you'll find it's cosy but of course there's still plenty of space here. The sharp stylings of the interior match the exterior quite nicely and the sports seats are certainly a nice touch. Of course it can all be manoeuvred to suit your own needs perfectly and if you lift up the seat you can get to the rear seats in the back. Here we have room for up to two passengers and again it's pretty sleek and stylish back here as well. You'll find lots of additional pockets for storage space all around the vehicle as well. As we come round to the rear of the vehicle, we can take a look inside the boot. The boot is opened remotely through the use of the key, like so. As you can see, it's not just all sport power and style here, but actually a good deal of practicality, as there's plenty of space here, handily illuminated for us. If you're planning any trips away and need to go down to the airport, don't worry, you'll be able to fit all of your suitcases in quite easily. Now we can come around to the driver's side and take a look at all the fun stuff in store. Although of course you will find your mirror control and your window control on the door panel like you'd expect. We've got the aluminium foot pedals here, there's plenty of grip on them as well. And of course don't forget about the snazzy Peugeot footwells, it's always a nice little touch. So, now that we're behind the wheel we can take a look over our dash. Of course it has got that digital display in the middle, giving us all the efficiency and mileage information we need. Underneath the steering wheel on the left hand side you'll find all of your cruise control options. And underneath the right hand side you'll find all of your Bluetooth telephone controls and options neatly tucked away. Over on the main panel you'll find our quite snazzy looking analog clock. And of course above that we do have our digital display. Ignore the date on it, I'm not sure why it's set to 2009 but we can easily change that. It can be controlled all from the media panel down here, where you'll also find the parking sensors and the central locking which can be turned on and off. You can easily flip to the options we need, it's a pretty self-explanatory system. So of course you can see all the functions here, there's our media player, of course we have a CD player built in, and our Bluetooth compatibility. So you can play your own music through Bluetooth as well as answer phone calls. And of course you can connect your own devices manually to play your own music, but just about every single setting can be configured to your own needs. Just down below, we have additional storage space and you'll also find our climate control. This does feature dual zone climate control, so both the driver and the front passenger can change their settings independently from one another without any need to argue. I filmed this on quite a chilly day and I'm happy to say it got the car nice and toasty within no time. Of course, you can also set it to the mono system, in which case it'll be a single temperature throughout the whole car. And of course, you'll find additional settings here for your windscreen clearing and more. You can also change all the fan configurations to suit your own needs. Just down below you find plenty of additional storage space and we can move on to our 6 speed gear stick. Of course being a sporty coupe like this there's plenty of power and efficiency in store. Just down below, next to our parking handbrake, you'll find our 12 volt port where you can connect your own devices through an adapter. 
And of course, we also have our button here for our electronic spoiler. This will come out with the bodywork. It's kind of hard to see through the windscreen, but you can make it out there. Finally, underneath our lever armrest, you will find our additional USB port and our aux port. So you can connect your devices through here if you like, and charge them and storm away safely. So overall, if you're looking for a sporty and slick vehicle that certainly stands out on the roads, it's definitely one I'd recommend looking into. It's an awful lot of fun to drive, and I suggest everyone tries it at least once. Sadly, that brings us on to the end of our video tour. If you'd like to learn out more information about this car, you can go on down to the YouTube video description, or from there, you can find a link to the listing on our website. Also, you can contact us directly at www.motormatch.com. Anyway, hope you're staying safe and have a great day. Cheers.